Hi, this is Detective Berenger here. Today, we are going to talk about context clues and using a positives as a way to figure out what things mean when we in what we're reading. So our success criteria is that I can locate a positive context clues when I read. So what is a context clue? A context clue is when we're reading and we might not know what it is that we're reading. Maybe there's a word or a sentence or even a paragraph. We might not understand completely what it means. Well, if we look for context clues, then sometimes we can figure out what it means by the context clue. And so there are a lot of different types of context clues we are today we are going to talk about a positives so what is an a positive and a positive is when there is a word or a phrase that renames a word right next to it or gives a synonym or a phrase that might make more sense or might be more familiar so let's take a look here we're going to look at this sentence about humpback humpback whales and that they were being hunted um, and so they were saying that the hunters hunted them for their blubber, a thick layer of fat under the skin. So we can see that it's talking about blubber, and that's a key word because um, it's in bold. And if we don't know what blubber means, which a lot of people might not know what it means, we can look and we can see that right after the word blubber, there is a definition that tells us what it is, and it's separated right here by a comma. So that is an example of an apositive. And a positive you can find by looking for punctuation clues a lot. So when you see an apositive, that means an, a word or a description, either be right next to a word or a phrase you don't know, usually it's separated by punctuation remember we have to not only read words we have to read punctuation because punctuation tells us um, how to read a sentence correctly so if we see a word or a phrase we don't know and then it's followed with a comma and then something else then play, pay close attention that comma might be telling you that it's giving you more information or a semicolon or a colon or parentheses if there's something in parentheses or like a dot, 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 and sometimes even quote marks that might give a different word in, or a name in quote marks. So let's try. We're gonna look at this sentence here. The original location for Fort Nesqually was 16 miles south of its present day location in Point Defiance Park near the town of DuPont. Okay, so where do you think the, the positive is here? If you guessed right here, ding, 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 you are a word detective. So we can see that it's talking about where Fort Nisqually was, and it's near the present day location of Point Defiance Park. But what if you don't know where Point Defiance Park is? There's a comma right here, and it's telling you a little bit more about the location, that Point Defiance Park is near the town of DuPont. So this, uh, this is a positive is giving us a little bit more information about the location to help us understand um, our text better. Let's try another one. So we'll read this sentence. Built on the north bank of the Columbia River was Fort Vancouver, parentheses, located in present day Vancouver, Washington, parentheses. So take a look, where do you think the positive is? Right there, you are a context clue detective if you found that one. So we can, this one's also talking about location. Not all positives talk about location. It just happens that these two examples are. So you can see that it's talking about um, where Fort Vancouver was. And I think that Hudson Bay Company was located at Fort Vancouver. And it's near the north bank of the Columbia River. Well, what if you don't know where that is? doesn't mean anything to you. Well, here's our um, punctuation clues right here. And then it's saying, giving us a little bit more information, here's the positive about where um, 
Fort Vancouver is. It's where the present day city of Vancouver, Washington is. So it gives us a better picture in our head so we can understand our reading more. And that's what context clues do. They give us information that we understand that help us understand our reading even better. So you have to be a detective and you have to look out for those context clues and slow down and read them so you can understand your text a little bit better. So our search, our success criteria was I can locate a positive context clues when I read. And remember, a positives a lot of times are followed um, either before or after an unknown word or phrase. Um, there's usually a comma there, a semicolon, a colon, maybe some parentheses, or maybe dot dot dot. So look at your punctuation. And then see if, the, and then the words before or after that to see if they help give you a context clue on how to understand your uh, reading a little bit better. I'll see you next.